The Not Idwin badge is arguably the hardest badge to obtain in this Roblox game, and as of time recording, thousands of players are attempting it for it every single day. And I want to get it too, but there's just one problem. You see, it took me 16 hours to beat the guide boss fight normally. Now I need to do this with no modifiers, no friends, and thanks to a friend, I have a five day time limit. Do you think this is possible? Nah, 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 I'd win. What? Oh, what? oh my god, oh my god, guy, please, please. First, I have to get faster at getting to the actual fight. So let's start improving. Starting with my Wi-Fi. You see, having a high ping causes frame drops and most importantly, outrageous hitboxes. To prevent that, immediately after spawning, go to your settings, turn on performance stats, and rejoin the server until your ping is constantly around 70 or 20. But I'm not the only one to realize doing this over and over again is kind of tedious. That's why Blockstrap comes in. Not only is it an FPS blocker, but look at this. If you turn on this option, called C server location and you join the game, right? Exit out of full screen. Look at that. I can immediately see what server I joined. Now what's more tedious is the unskippable cutscene. People have thought of multiple ways to bypass this and I'll admit, it's pretty genius. Okay, so Rudy just told me in my chat saying, apparently, if you press escape, if you turn on this caption and if you spam, Oh my god, look at this! Bro, I'm x-raying this. I have my cursor at the level right now and when the cutscene is over, I can press it! Now, there's still insane skips to talk about in the next four sections, but don't get me wrong, jumping on torches, being a literal Spider-Man, and your glow counting as a hitbox for trains are useful. Now, even though I was learning all these cool magic tricks, there was just one major issue. You not being subscribed. Nah, I'm joking, but Mr. Beast's website says we can't reach 40k subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, subscribe to help me prove them wrong. Anyways, I couldn't constantly beat Potato. Sure, there was a Potato skip, but as of time editing this video, it's already patched. But nowadays, we just manipulate his AI. Colin invented a skip where if you stand exactly right here, Potato Lord gets stuck in a position. In the last four seconds, you stand exactly here, so the Potato Lord starts walking towards you, and you slap him. Just watch out for Potato Lord being invincible to slaps in the last of one second. And by the end of day one, I had the entirety of the maze memorized in my head. <gasps> oh, let's go! I, I, did, I did the build up, no hit. Okay, nice. Twice in a row, we did the build up without getting hit. We're that good at the game. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm getting better at this. Day 2, I dedicated myself to study everything about the actual boss fight. I started by watching tutorials on Nightwind videos. You know, I got the basics. I should be fine. What? Right? Yeah, at the time, there were so many mistakes that I had to learn the hard way. Like, I was constantly getting hit by the meteors in phase 2. I don't think anyone talked about this, but please practice a method where it's easy to parry and move around at the exact same time. I recommend using this method. What is that? What is that method? What? To minimize your odds of cracking and hitting you, just stay away from the middle. It's nothing crazy, right? But the golems is literally my biggest off. Sometimes he just starts hacking and does two attacks. Yeah, apparently both of his attacks have separate cooldown. So it is possible for him to do two attacks at once. So watch out for that. I'm pretty sure it's fixed now, but like, what? I got hit, but holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Here we go. What? To prevent that, I had to parry the last three tracks as close as possible to the slop striker. And the entirety of day two was just practicing phase two until... Oh my god, oh my god, flaws! Okay, flaws run, flaws run. Okay, I can get Naughty Win. I can get Naughty Win. I can do this, I can do this. Alright, it's currently Friday for me. I'm going to sleep. But the game updates usually at like Saturday midnight for me. I have great confidence that we can do this if the dungeon bugs gets fixed today. The devs did not fix the bug. You see, I'm not too upset about update delays, but like, when I'm in a situation like this, I was kind of upset, but I didn't give up. And on Saturday, a miracle happened.
I know this is supposed to be like the depression phase of the video, but I'm not that sad. Like, I'm really proud of myself since I actually found a way to get guys HP low. But could I do the exact same thing in Sunday's stream? Well... Not every story has a happy ending, guys. Wait, what? Yeah, so my friend gave me a second and a final chance. But this time, instead of 50 bucks, I get a free IRL raw blush. And instead of the time limit being Sunday, it's this Friday. I've been streaming this for like more than a week now. And it's just, I see an insane pattern. Every single death on the stream is just me losing to phase three. So today, I'm not streaming. And everything I will do today is practice phase three with the regen and four hearts. I tried every strategy. Not Nothing was working until I started to combine methods to see what worked the best for me. Obviously, tip number one, Billify's method, do, do not, not jump. jump. Second tip I combined was from a slot battles mod called Shell's Eye. Guide has three movement patterns. He goes forward to back, right to left, and circular. You have to align yourself so that your perspective, Guide moves forwards and backwards, and simply hit him like this in the footage. Just don't go to the left or the right side of him, but what if he moves in a circle? Rocky told me to walk in a small circle near the guy, and when he approaches you, you strike. I also learned that he has slap aura active all the time, so don't go for a second hit, okay? If you hit once, just stay away from it. I only had three days to do all of this I mentioned. Okay, so it is currently 2 a.m. I just woke up to a ping saying the guide boss fight bugs have been fixed. So I don't care if it's 2 a.m. We're gonna go live. After that live stream, I, I said I'll sleep, but I didn't. I was going to fake the footage and just start editing the video already. But as I was editing, I never had fun. There was just no point of faking a video if you can be honest and make a better one. Challenges aren't meant to be ran away. You're always supposed to face them to make a good video. And that's exactly what I did. Alright, so I'm gonna go live one last time. If I can't get 9 win today, this video is going to have a very sad ending. I don't script videos, so I just can't control that. You guys have to see until the end of the video. Oh my god! What? What? Oh my god. Inside, so that you're slapping. I want you to look at the guy and see how he's moving in. <laughs> How do you okay? Wait, no! I tapped on give all strike moderator, but I panic and tap hide user. Oh my god, I'm so cooked. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs>